ladies and gentlemen, there is a new twist on the Clive and Bundy saga. Apparently, a bunch of enraged leftists have decided that if the government won't drive this man out of his home and out of business, then they are going to do it themselves. A group of activistos calling themselves Bundy Fest have announced that they will hold a live concert directly across the, from the Bundy Ranch with 240 live bands playing 24 hours a day for a solid month. Again, folks, this is typical liberal fascism. If a private citizen won't absolutely prostrate themselves in front of the federal government, then, of course, they themselves have to march forth in a parade of hairy-legged women and dreadlock-wearing men and save the day. It's typical liberal tactic, folks. Now, I'm going to say something here that's going to sound a little shocking. And hear me out. My suggestion to Clive and Bundy and his supporters, let it happen. Welcome these people with open arms. Get them there tomorrow if you can. These people are better human shields against the federal government than you could ask for. Socialists don't shoot socialists. And if you think that middle America doesn't know what to think of the militias, wait until they get a load of this bunch. And I use the word load intentionally, because that's what these people are. They're a load. They're a load on the back of taxpayers, you and me, they're a load on the welfare rolls. They're a big flaming load sitting on the doorstep of the White House because when the TV news people are showing up and showing what these people intend to do, nudity, drug use, open sex, giant paper mache penises in the desert, that's when all the masks come off. And if there's anything that's needed here, folks, it's clarity. Clive and Bundy is the backbone of America. He's a cattle rancher, a working American in a struggle against an out-of-control federal government. And then here come these people. This group, Bundy Fest, is exactly what a middle America doesn't want their kids to become. Spoiled little brat socialists parading around in the nude, hoping to get some TV time between bong hits. Let them come. Let America see it. Then let them choose a side. Will they stand with Charles Manson and his deranged followers? I don't think so, folks. We'll be right back. 